Okay, so um, we'll go ahead and get started. We're going to be recording this. So for people that aren't able to attend, uh, we can send the link out um, as far as participation. So I just want to thank everybody for attending today. We're going to go through um, basically how the Arc Lane supports our local community. And then we're reaching out to the schools to find out how um, we can better engage the students to potentially know about our career opportunities. Um, just check in the chat. Okay, thank you for letting us know. Um, so first of all, I just want to thank Jay Roscup and David Engler for getting this set up. So thank you for doing that, getting the invitations out and um, everyone signing up. So the agenda, we're just going to go through introductions and then we're going to show you our brand new Arc Wayne virtual tour video. It's all up to date with our new um, name along with our COVID masks and all that fun stuff. And then we're going to go through the Arc Wayne programs um, along with the career opportunities in each of those programs. And then at the end, I would just like to open it up for some collaboration from the school leaders. Please feel free to ask questions throughout. Um, while, I, while I'm sharing my screen, it's hard to see the chat. So hopefully somebody can speak up if they see a chat and I've missed it. So David Calhoun is on, on the line. He's our executive director. Um, he came up with this idea of um, communicating directly with the school leads on our career opportunities. I'm Susan Langenfeld. I'm the recruitment and retention manager for both the Arc Wayne and Ontario ARC. And Jess Blundell, she's our development coordinator. And um, she's here because she puts all those PR stuff together for us. So we really appreciate that help. So I had I have the list of all the attendees that signed up for this, um, but Fredericks, so Stone and Fredericks, Okay, so Wayne Central, hi. So you can't talk to us, so you can't do your introduction. Uh, maybe in the chat, you could just put your role so we have a better understanding of who we're talking to, if you don't mind. Thank you so much. Um, you know, it's never too early to, to um, get our information in front of students. So um, let's see, Sherry and Amy are both middle school counselors at um, Wayne Central. So thank you very much for attending and um, look forward to our collaboration at the end. So I mentioned, I'm gonna try to share I'm going to stop sharing this screen and then I'm going to share our new brand new video. Oh, we do have a bunch of other people on here. I couldn't see you all. So now we can go back to introductions. Um, so we have Tracy O'Hara. Do you mind unmuting and just introducing yourself? I recognize you. Hi everyone. Tracy O'Hara from Williamson. Um, I work sixth through 12th grade as a career pathways counselor and work-based learning coordinator. Thank you. Julie DeRue. Hi, uh, Julie DeRue. I'm the school psychologist in the SOTUS High School for grades nine through 12. And I'm kind of the unofficial transition coordinator for special education. Great, thank you for coming. Ashley. Hey, I'm Ashley Kyle. I'm a substitute school counselor at Palmac High School filling in for Jen Narum. So I'm grades nine through 12, alphabet O through Z. Okay, great. Thanks for coming. Vanessa? Hi, I'm Vanessa Rigi. I am the 10 through 12 school counselor at Lyon Central School District. Great. Thank you so much for coming. Amy Jones? Amy and Sharon work at the Wayne Finger Lakes OCs. 
we work in the school. Oh, my chat just went down. We work in the school to career program with students 14 to 21 years old. So that's Amy and Sharon. So thank you very much. Glad to see you were all hiding on me. I couldn't even see anybody. That's the downside of sharing your screen. So now I'm going to share the video. That's brand new. Just just finished it up, and we're going to be de debuting it on our social media soon. So hopefully everybody can see it and hear it. The Arcway is a nonprofit organization with a mission of helping individuals with and without disabilities throughout Wayne and surrounding counties. Our more than 550 employees support nearly 4,000 people in dozens of communities. Join us on a virtual tour as we highlight just a few of our many programs. Roosevelt Children's Center is our preschool and daycare for children birth to five years old. Our staff specialize in teaching and providing clinical services to children with autism and other diagnoses. About 150 students across multiple counties attend RCC daily. The Arc Wayne's Article 16 clinics are located in four counties and provide PT, OT, speech, and social work services to individuals with disabilities to enhance their quality of life. Erie Shore Learning is our new learning kitchen for individuals in our pre-vocational program on valuable cooking and baking skills to prepare for competitive employment and volunteer opportunities. When COVID-19 guidelines allow for it, we also host community classes that provide an inclusive environment for people of all abilities to learn how to make fun recipes. Our community services program offers a variety of after school and recreational programs for teens in local school districts. We also offer respite, family support, and education services for families who have children with developmental and intellectual disabilities. We have more than a dozen group homes and supported apartments across Wayne County that are staffed 24-7 by our dedicated direct support professionals. We match residents with the house that best fits their wants and needs in order to help them thrive. Day habilitation services are available for individuals who either work part-time or are retired and want to work on goals that enrich their lives and help them become more involved in their communities. Activities focus on health and wellness, arts and music, culinary, volunteerism, and more. Teen Street is our workshop where individuals with and without disabilities package and assemble goods for local companies. This inclusive environment helps individuals with disabilities learn essential job and life skills as they earn a future. Jerry Shore Lane opened in May 2019 and houses our new cafe, bakery, ice cream parlor, and renovated print shop. The social enterprise is also a nonprofit, so every purchase helps create more job opportunities for individuals with disabilities. So that gives you an overview of um, all of the different programs and actually that wasn't all of them. We'll go into detail a little bit more. Um, if anybody drives by like the Walmart area on Route 31, this is our brand new billboard that we just put up um, to have, so hopefully we'll have a consistent message. So just to talk a little bit more about um, our programs, I'm gonna try to see if I can There we go, I can at least see some people. So the preschool, as it said in the video, um, we have a preschool, we support Wayne County children with and without disabilities. Um, it provides speech, physical, occupational, mental health therapies 
Um, we also have an early intervention program and special education services. So probably you are all very familiar with our RCC um, program. We currently have 109 employees um, and we currently have seven current job openings. And those are for teacher assistants, teacher aides, substitutes we're always looking for as well. I'm sure all the school districts are as well. We have a special education teacher position open, a speech pathologist, as well as a school psychologist is our current openings. So our residential services is our largest program. Um, we have 15 residences and supportive apartments across Wayne County. Um, we support individuals in their home environment. And obviously this was really crucial over this past year with the COVID. Um, we did a lot of changes and like our day program went into the homes and uh, supported the day have um, process right in the residence. So this is a 24 seven program. Um, we have 189 current employees and this is where our biggest openings are. We have currently 37 direct support professionals um, that we're looking to fill uh, within our residential services program. We have one supervisor, one, um, we have a brand new position we're trying to fill, it's called a DSP support coordinator. And that position is an effort to help um, onboard new DSPs with training and um, support and mentoring through that process. And then we also have a team leader um, for one of the homes that's open. And those positions, the supervisor is in Palmyra and the team leader is in Lyons. And the DSP positions are all across um, Wayne County. Our day services, um, we have multiple programs. So we have our day habilitation services. That's where our individuals come here um, to our headquarters in Newark. We also have a location in uh, Macedon. And um, right now we still have some that are being performed at their homes as well. We have our key industries, our production workshop that you saw um, in the video. And we also send individuals and um, employees to um, external companies such as Crossman's. We bus the individuals and other employees directly there. We have a pre-vocational and a vocational support program. Transportation, I'm sure you've seen our buses across the county. Um, we have a food service program, um, catering, Meals on Wheels um, for Wayne County is completed out of our food services program. We also have a janitorial services program too and um, criminal justice as well to support people getting out of jail, um, probation or parole and helping them learn life skills um, and attain employment. So right now in all of our day services, we have 131 current employees and we have 21 current job openings. So production workers, job coaches, um, bus drivers, DSPs, and food service aides. Our community services program is a respite care. So we go out to uh, the family's home and provide respite care for um, the families to be able to go out and go grocery shopping, take care of appointments, and just give the family a break. Um, there are after school programs as well. I believe they're located at um, RCC. And we also have family support programs through community services. What is a DSP? Sorry. That is definitely um, a term in our, in our specific industry, as you want to say. It's a direct support professional, and they're um, the employees that, that interact fully with the individuals. So they support them with their life goals. So it used to be more of a caregiver position. And as the philosophy behind um, the support of the individuals with developmental disabilities has changed, it has transitioned into a support role. So we support the individuals with their life goals and we don't take care of them anymore. I hope that helps um, describing that. So community services, and I just went through that. So we have, this is a smaller program, 23 current employees, 
two current job openings and there's the direct support professionals and the team leader role for that position. Um, this program also has like dances. Um, they, do, they do camps during the summers. Um, so this is like a really fun one to be involved in. Um, and obviously with COVID that's changed, but hopefully we'll be able to start getting back to a little bit normal stuff um, going forward. So the clinical services, they were outlined in the video too. So we do have um, two or three different clinics, depending on how you want to put it, but we offer PT, speech therapy, behavioral specialists, um, and social workers are the clinical services that we provide. Uh, we have 15 current employees and we have four openings. Um, so we're looking for a social worker in Newark, New York. We're looking for a social worker out in our Albion location, along with a speech pathologist and a treatment coordinator. So nursing, um, we have nurses throughout the, the different programs. So uh, the difference between our nurses and let's say nurses in hospitals are our nurses work Monday through Friday um, during the days. So they have a life, a, a really nice work-life balance here at the Arc Wayne. Um, so we have residential services, RNs and LPNs. The LPNs probably work more in the evening shift though. We have day services, RNs and LPNs, and then we have a school nurse at our Roosevelt's Children's Center. And we do have two current openings for our RN positions. So care coordination, we have a small care coordination team, but it has been busy growing though. So this is a mental health case management um, team that support adults and children um, in Wayne County. And I know we do go into the Monroe County area as well. An eerie shore landing. So hopefully everybody has come and partakes and uh, the yumminess at the cafe and the bakery, um, really amazing food. Um, our ice cream shop is getting ready to open up for the season two. So we're right here on the canal in Newark, New York. So um, if you haven't come to check us out, please do. Um, and then we also have a print shop to help out with any of your printing needs. So we currently have 11 current employees and then we have three current job openings. And we're specifically looking for those seasonal ice cream shop associates. And then we have our central admin group as any um, business would have. Um, right now we're looking for a senior accounting manager along with a, an accounting specialist position, just to give you an idea of the career opportunities. So we believe um, we're the third largest employer in Wayne County, um, which a lot of people don't realize how large we are. So I just did a breakdown. Our current employees is 523. Obviously, if we had our 82 positions um, filled, we would be up over 600. So our career opportunities for the students or any community member. Um, so our entry level positions, which are full time, part time and relief positions, we're looking at direct support professionals, which hopefully I explained what those are um, production workers in our workshop along with going um, to the external sites, which we provide that busing to like Crossman's, um, teacher aides for our RCC and location and ice cream shop associates. So those are all entry level, no experience necessary. Um, there's not even a high school diploma required for production workers, ice cream shop. And our DSPs will actually accept a TAPE test if they don't have a high school diploma. And then the professional opportunities are more of the nursing physician, therapists, special education teachers, and accountants. So we have career opportunities across the board. Age requirements. So all of our positions currently are 18 and over. We are currently looking at um, which is the next slide. We are gonna be um, launching a program soon that will be for high school students and it will be a paid internship program. Uh, we may modify the ice cream associates um, age 
and I'll communicate that out once we have these details finalized. We're just kind of putting the final details on this program. So we're looking for 17 um, year old and older students. Um, that potentially will transition to a regular employee at the age of 18. Um, so we're looking for, for students that are looking for full-time career work with us, or if they're planning on going on to college, um, they can work per diem with us or come back in the summer and on their breaks and pick up some shifts as well, depending on the program that they're working in. So this is, we're really excited about this program. Um, so hopefully we can get your support when we have the final details and um, try to get some students sent our way.